Morning all, welcome back to the cave. Right, what I'm going to be doing today, I've got this lovely piece of yew branch here, uh, and I'm going to be trying to do a long thin stem goblet. Maybe with some captive rings, maybe not. The good thing about this log is, is that I don't know if you can see it very well, but actually the pith of the log goes right over to one side, uh, which means I'm not going to have to worry about trying to get this done off centre or anything, uh, seeing as how that's over to one side. You can see some CA glue there, both on the top and the bottom. Uh, it has got that a, a big main crack, and I'm not very sure if it goes all the way down. I'll not be able to find that out until, obviously, I get the bark off. Uh, so what I'm gonna proceed to do is get it turned between centre. Um, I'm gonna get a tenon on there to go in the chuck. Uh, the chuck I'm using today, it's, a, it's an Axminster Clubman. The jaws I've got, they don't have a dovetail, they're actually parallel jaws, but what they have actually got, I don't know if, if you can see it very well, it has actually got a small lip on there, which means it will give a better grip um, on the piece of wood when I get it mounted up. Um, so I'll just set the camera up and we'll get on and get some turning done. Right, I've had it between centres, I've got both the edges cleaned off. I've drilled down into here around about two inches. That's going to be the, the depth of the uh, goblet. I'm now going to proceed to get that, the inside of the goblet cleaned out. And I'm going to be using my spindle gouge for doing that. Very thin cuts when we're doing this.
Right, that's it. All hollowed out. Uh, what I'm going to do now, I'll be finishing this off with Yorkshire Grit and Hampshire Scene High Gloss. Uh, so I'll get that sanded down, get it finished, and then we'll come back to do the stem part. Right, so that's the inside of the bowl all done now, uh, all finished off. Um, I'm going to support <coughs> the tailstock end with some tissue paper um, going into my live centre. Now initially I'm going to shape the outside of the the goblet part so I will be removing the tail stock every once in a while because the last thing I want to have is to go through the the side of the goblet make sure everything is missing and again I'm going to be using me spindle gouge for this I'm still turning at around about 700 Right, I had a bit of a mistook there. Um, I got a catch, so the top edge of the, the part of the goblet actually came off. So I'm just going to be starting from a bit further in. Um, I have still got that crack, so I'm going to be filling that up with uh, super glue. Stick some super glue in there, and then we'll, when that's dry, we'll come back and carry on. Right, that's dry now. So what I'll do, I'll come back in and start reshaping this. Hopefully, I don't get any more catches.
Right, I'm just going to take a, <coughs> a final cut and then I'll get that sanded down. When you're doing anything like this, you're always as well getting the piece towards the tailstock all finished off and basically then don't go back to it. Because once you start doing the, the stem, which is hopefully going to be fairly thin, you're going to get a hell of a lot of vibration. Right then.
Now I know I've finished the, the goblet part, but I'm going to have to go back because there is a series of cracks coming out from the pith. Which I'm going to need to get sorted. And you can actually see there where part of the where there's been a crack has actually come away. So I'm gonna to have to redo that bit as well. Uh, so I'll turn the video off while we're doing this. Right, that's the the goblet part finished off. I'm gonna start doing the stem. Now when I'm doing the stem, I'm only gonna be doing it a section at a time. I'm still gonna be leaving a lot of the bulk of the wood down this end. And when you are doing any sort of thin stuff like this, if you do have to stop, which I'm going to be doing quite a few times, if you do have to stop, always turn the speed down on the lathe before you start it back up again. If you start it back up to a high speed, it can produce a lot of torque. If your stem is too thin, it can snap it. I started that off at about 400. I'll take it up. Right, that's me at about 1100 there. So I'm just going to start going down a bit at a time. Probably not going to show the whole of turning the stem um, at the moment that's the the pith you probably can't see it very well there but the pith there and I, well, I have got cracks extending from the pith so I'm probably going to have to stop and start quite a few times to fill the cracks in but we'll see how we get on The other thing I'm going to do is change over to a smaller rest so I can get closer to the piece. So did anybody notice the deliberate mistake there?
Right, I'm just going to carry on turning this down. Uh, I'll put the video back on a bit later on just to show you where I'm up to. Right, so here it is finished. Now, I didn't really want to turn the stem with the video on because I was basically stopping every inch or so to get it sanded down. I've got it sanded down to 240 now. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some Yorkshire grit on and some Hampshire Sheen high gloss. Let's get that turned up a bit. And then following on from that, we'll get it parted off. I don't know if you can see very well, but certainly up at this end, and certainly where it's very thin, we've got the hell of a wobble on there. Right, I'll just get my tool rest in place and then we'll get the part that off. And there we have it. Nice long stemmed goblet made from you. I'll just take the skew chisel and I'm just going to take that wee bit off the bottom. There we are. Stand it up for you there. Hope you can see that okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, put a like on the channel and subscribe if you do like. There will be more videos to come. Hopefully I'll get another couple done this weekend and I'll see you soon.